Yes. There we go. There we go. Five. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. So, uh, there are a lot to cover. Basically, almost all the Pokemon from Gen 5 onward are all rare. Like, they, they, they're just rare all over the places. And I, I'm i actually exhausted downloading all of these images. That's kind of funny. There are like uh, over 200 of them. So, that's pretty scary. And uh, so, we might go at faster pace. I don't know. So, let's go. Let's start with uh, Venusaur. Venusaur, let's go. Regular Venusaur. Which one is regular? Oh, it's this one. It's this one's regular. What do you uh what do you think about regular Venusaur? Do you just use it in Sun Team, like with Chlorophyll? Uh, because I feel like it's this uh it's only usage because if you use a defensive set, might as well use Mega Venusaur, yeah? Uh how long is it gonna take? I have no idea. I'm just gonna do one hour. Uh probably gonna be like three part even because this this is just I don't know if you do like if you watch the common and uncommon Pokemon they are like not even close to it they're like one third of this so this is gonna be longer than the two common and uncommon combined this game is so whack the rarity system is actually broken and I don't like that so let's start being sore <clears throat> yes very good in Sun Team I actually think that if you use a Sun Team you gotta have a uh, Venusaur there um, because it makes no sense. It's just the best Clawfury user ever. Like growth. One hour of my low five. Boy. Okay. <laughs> this has growth. Has earthquake, right? Can you have an earthquake? Uh, if you're lucky, you might have him power fire. Uh, although earthquake is like a decent option. Search bomb, you know, gear drain, great. I would run uh, a Venusaur if I use Sun Team. Always, always. Unless it's a Rose Raid with Weather Ball or something like that. But just because I love Rose Raid. Doesn't mean that it's better than Venusaur and Sandal. Venusaur is definitely the best Chlorophyll user at the moment. Uh, but you don't use it outside of Sun, you know? It's kind of weird. It basically carries the whole Sun team, but you don't use it outside of Sun. That's something to note. Um, I think it's uh, it's decent Pokemon. It's definitely stronger than C. And it's not A, because you don't use it in a lot of Pokemon. Uh, I mean, in a lot of teams. So i am put it in B. B makes sense. B makes sense. Uh, what about the the this one, <laughs> the Mega Venusaur, guys? Guys, I I don't even think uh, Mega Venusaur is used as much as regular Venusaur because I see more Sun Team than uh, the the Fat Team with the Mega Venusaur. Just real story. If you if you see Saw, they don't even use a Mega. <laughs> they don't even use a Mega. Um, although to be fair, this Mega is kind of kind of fat. You know, it has big fat. Uh. Probably run Sludge Bomb, Synthesis, uh, Hidden Power Fire if you're lucky. Um, could run Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, basically the same set as the other one, but uh, it's not an offensive variant. I don't think that is one of the better Mega to use. You don't actually slap it in uh, random teams, you know, you gotta go with the fat structure, or the, it doesn't work that well, I guess. Um, it does check Magiena, which is not here. I usually use it if I want to check uh, Magiena. Uh, but this one, and I don't know. Uh, it's very easy to take advantage of this Pokemon as well. Um, and since we have a bunch of good Megas in A, I think there's a Manectric in A. There is like a Weavile. And if you compare this, I mean, let's just compare it to a uh, Tank, I believe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't even think it's as good as Tank Growth or like a Moongus. No way. Um, so it's, it's, it costs a mega slot. It's kind of funny. Um, it's quite passive. I don't like it. It doesn't even check a fable because if you eat a thund thunder wave, you basically lose one v one to Cofable. Even if you don't get thunder wave, you still have to crit the sludge bomb. So I don't feel like this whole one is A tier. I'm putting it alongside its, uh, regular counterpart, which is going to be B. Um, kind of get a bit higher. I don't even see a lot of it. So yeah. Mega Charizard X used to be my most hated Mega of all time. <laughs> Actually, legit, because I just hate it so much. Just use it; it doesn't do anything. Mon sucks, man. But no, uh, recently been using it a lot because um, I need a, like a scissor check and I need its durability as well. It actually has nice bulk. So we uh, we run the uh, the bulky set with like max HP or something. A little bit of seed, speed, max attack, armor, nature, flame charge. It actually worked pretty well in balance. Um, the reason why it did so badly 
before was because I kept using Dragon Dance and I I just hate using Dragon Dance in like screen offense. And it doesn't work as well as the Mega Suzur or Gyarados. I I love those two more than uh, Charizard X in this. It's just high maintenance. And uh, by using it in balance with a more bulky set, it actually provides a lot of values. And uh, I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Um, is it uh, better than Venusaur, Mega Venusaur? I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's A. It's very unreliable. Um, it has some good matchup. If you fish for like a good matchup, this mod is basically like Volcarona, but it's less likely to sweep, I would say, because it's physical variant. Um, but if got a good matchup, it's probably gonna 6-0 a lot of teams. Uh, but uh, it's not A. I'm putting B alongside Mega Venusaur. Maybe they, this these two is just on par, man. Um, even though they are a completely different thing. Why is there a, char a regular Charizard here? When would you use a regular Charizard, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why, why would you use a regular Charizard? Um, I have no idea. The regular Charizard. I actually have one with uh, yeah, solo power. It turns with Charizard Y. Um, would you use this Sun Team? No. <laughs> no. Don't use it in Sun Team. It's kind of kind of crazy. The regular Charizard. Uh, it's going to take like solo power. Five last does kill a lot of things, but even throw in a uh, a Tyranitar or like a uh, what is that? A, a Heatran. You have to focus that and predict and stuff. That's kind of suck because you need to be able to default all the time. And uh, it's a Sun Team already, so you don't need another burden here. Uh, although, if you use it uh, in vanilla form, it's not it's not as bad, you know? Yeah, you couldn't run like some funny set. Is it F? No. It's probably good in D. It's kind of like the uh, the king of the, the bottom tier or something like that. Ah, uh, alright. Never seen anyone use a regular Charizard. I have. That was when they... Uh, they put the Mega Zone on uh, the three starters, and then they try to uh, Mega Evolve one of them, and then realize that they can't ev Mega Evolve the others. So it's gonna be a regular Charizard for you. I actually used it before. Um, Fire Blast in the Sun with Choice Specs, two HK or Chansey. Crazy, right? Crazy. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you need the, a high maintenance cost for this Charizard to work, and then it's just just not worth it. Just, just use Volcarona, right? Just use Volcarona. Why are you just like regular Charizard? Four times Big Shoe Rock, can't even 1v6. Volcarona, Dallas, 1v6 up. So it's kind of nice. It's good eyes. You have good eyes, James. Um, Mega Charizard Y. Definitely, I, I think Y is a more dangerous threat than X because when I build a team, I probably think a bit more. I don't think about X all the time. Just sometimes. But Y, definitely, definitely all the time. Uh, you can't afford to lose this, this Pokemon because if you don't have any check, they just come in once and they just get a one kill. It's not like Charizard X where you come in once, you probably have to sweep if you run like a Dragon Dance set uh, and then you can't switch out anymore, you have to commit. But uh, why is not the same? You can just come in and come out and you need to uh, be able to remove Hazard for it as well. That's why you have an uh, infamous copy pasta team which is uh, Dual Weather. Which has that why? Because you also run Rapid Spin, Excrew, and a, uh, another method of default from another Pokemon, normally Rotom. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's a better Pokemon in Charizard X. And uh, the fact that the, these two exist together made Charizard X better. Made Charizard X better. Because if Y doesn't exist, think about this. If Y doesn't exist, then when you see a Charizard, you're gonna know. That is Mega Charizard at X, and you're gonna have counterplay. Uh, one of the th thing about this too is that you don't know if it's Y or X first, so you tend to bring out like the wrong check for it, and you have to rely on team composition. Even though sometimes it's just off. So if Y doesn't exist, then X is gonna be like a much worse Pokemon. It's gonna be the worst, the worst thing ever. But since there are two of them, you kind of you kind of have to guess the first time, and the next time you will know, right? So they made each other better, but Y is still better alone. When Charizard X is sometimes it's not as good if you you run it alone, and there's a Y here. So yeah, I, I guess you you might have gotten my point there, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got my point. Uh, that's just uh, something about it.
Okay, so we have Blastoise, regular Blastoise. Um, I think this one is decent. <laughs> it's not bad, it, it's decent. He has uh, Rabbit Spin, Toxic, Scald. The regular set you run on it, like Refresh, Ice Beam, Toxic, Rabbit Spin, Protect, a lot of options. You can also run Fake Out, which is a stretch because that's better in uh, double than in single. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's a bad Pokemon, but I mean, to use it though, I mean, you have Starmie, right? Which is going to be better a uh, spinning. And Starmie actually does, uh, does anything better than this, everything better than this Blastoise. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you have any reason to use it like over Starmie. Um, is it like C tier? Maybe. Um, it's kind of bulky, I guess. Ah, eh, it doesn't even have Shell Smash, man. It's Gen Eight. This is Gen Six Point Five. Doesn't matter. I put it in D alongside Charizard. I feel like it makes sense. Um, you see, some of the Pokemon in C tier I like a lot. Not this one though. This one is fine, but. Very little reason to use it. See, <laughs> guys, Mega Blastoise, Mega Blastoise. Imagine having Shell Smash on this guy, but we don't. We don't have Shell Smash. Like what? No, no Shell Smash or Mega Blastoise. So for now, I think it's in C tier. Are you using this Pokemon at all? Like for a Mega Special Attacker, you better use something like a uh, like a Zam, Charizard. You only have better options. I like a Zam Charizard. Those two are better special attacker. Manectric, right? What other megas? Uh, Sceptile. Uh, I don't think Sceptile is better than this one. <laughs> they are like on par or something. Um, Pidgeot. Yes, Pidgeot is much better. And uh, yeah, you you don't use Mega Blastoise because you have better options. Uh, I and I it, it's pretty uh, bulky, but that's the only feature about it. Probably a wrong stat distribu distribution too. Too bulky, I would say. But if you have Shell Smash, the bulk, the bulky, the bulk is gonna be justified, right? Because you need to be bulky to be able to do Shell Smash. Unfortunately, we don't have those. So this, uh, this Pokemon right here, I put it in C tier. I don't think it's better than Venusaur or like Charizard X. It's not even easy to slap into one team, unless you want to nerf yourself, which, you know, it's fine. I, I nerf myself all the time, so. It's not a problem, right? It's not a problem. We should be fine. And uh, we move on. These are the three starters, and Charizard had three of them. Sure. Uh, Hitmonlee. <laughs> Hitmonlee is actually not bad. I want to use it. Can't get one unburdened yet, though. Uh, yeah, Hit Hitmonlee is not bad. Kind of like Hitmonlee. But, like... So... I never use it, so I, I won't be able to tell if it's uh, that good or not. I mean, you use it random battles. You have what? Fake out, normal gem, activate unburden. You also have curse, white herb, uh, to activate unburden. What am I thinking of? It's like deja vu. Did I do this Pokemon in an uncommon aspect? Like the uncommon tier list? No, right? <laughs> never seen in pro. I've seen one in random battles, not in real one ranked yes there's no in ranked um i think i think this pokemon is okay but since i've never used it i i can't tell if it's good or not yeah you need experience you know what it does you know activate unburdened let's go kick some stuff close combat if you want to be safe high jump kick you want a lot of damage it also has reckless which is a good ability it's like what mian chao Kind of worse than Minshaw though. I don't think it's as good as Minshaw. Um, high special defense. Very frail on the physical side. I think it's D. I don't think it's F. I think it's D. And uh, it's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, tomorrow clip about Hitman. I don't think I've... Yeah, I don't think I can uh, PvP anymore this season. Got a lot of ratings, or, or ratings already. So I'm just going to make like side projects. <laughs> Uh, okay, Hitmonchan. Now, for all you know, Hitmonchan is actually a very good Pokemon on Showdown in PU tier. It's always like a good Pokemon in PU tier. But this is pro. You only have one tier. How am I just supposed to judge this? Um, has good special defense, decent defense, Iron Fist ability. Not impressive, but usable. 
coverage is good, but I I I won't even use it over Hitmonlee though. Those two those two uh, do different things I think because Hitmonchan is a little bit more like bulky. Uh, it can like come in and out, it's just grinding grinding stuff. Hitmonlee is more like uh, just kick them in the face or you die something like that. But in a grand scheme of things, like if you think about like one tier and one tier only. OU, for example, like Pokemon Revolution Online, the Hitmonlee is going to be better in OU than it is in, uh, in uh, than it is in like a PU with Hitmonchan, right? I just think Hitmonchan is worse than Hitmonlee if in the same tier like the OU. Uh, so I'm putting an F. I, I don't know. I, I don't like Hitmonchan at all. Um... <laughs> Tell me about it though. We haven't used any of them. And I have no plans of using Hitmonchan anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, we have a Chansey. This mod is going to be controversial. <laughs> we already a Chansey. Oh boy. Okay. Some of you. Some of you. Might put it in S. <laughs> Just say just saying, some of you might put it in S. I I got a feeling, you know, a lot of you actually. If you go, uh, if you go on the forums and you ask like how good is Chansey, they probably gonna put it in S, like a lot of them. But if you play competitively, you will realize that Chansey is not good to slap into every team. It's not splashable, I would say, because it's very passive. It's very easy to take in, to be taken advantage of. Yeah, I mean, you just a fast special defense wall. Um, so the view turn and wall switch stuff into a physical threat is gonna have like a free switch in, and then they're gonna knock you out, one of your Pokemon out, and you still want to keep the chancey. Like you can't just sack it. So it it makes your team very passive, and you have to be able uh, you have to be able to counterbalance that by number one. Using a star team that you can wall everything, right? I mean, if they have also used it, who cares? You have to check for everything. You are star. Uh, and if you use it in balance, it's not going to be as good because you don't you don't necessarily have necessarily have any switch in for one of the physical threat they are going for on the chancy. And if you use it, use it in a hyper offense, it's yeah, the, the, the least it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. This one is very passive. This is like a man time. Um, but on its own, it's kind of good. Yeah, you know, it's on kind of good. Not god tier though. If you lose to a Chansey, your team your team probably just contain a, a bunch of special attacker. And even though the Heatran, which is a special attacker, actually beats it one v one. So I don't I don't feel like Chansey is um, S. I don't feel like it's A as well because it's not splashable. You need to be able to. Um, counter, counteract its passivity too much, and it's uh, not A. I'll put in B. Yeah, B sounds fine to me. B is fine. Don't put it in and in, in every team ever though. It's kind of a random chancy for your opponent to take advantage of, take advantage of. And uh, yeah, I'll put in A. I mean B, not not A. <laughs> Uh, okay, Kangaskhan. What is this Kangaskhan right here? Wait, do we have Mega Kangaskhan? Yeah, I, I I missed that. I missed that Mega Kangaskhan. But they haven't coded the ability though. They're like, eh, this Pokemon is gonna be banned anyway, so there's no uh, no reason to code its ability, which is you know fair. But uh, like, what 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 are you doing? Uh, it's coding it that hard, maybe. A regular Kangaskhan. Actually, pretty good in uh, PU. Just the same as Hitmonchan. Would you use it in uh, <laughs> in OU? No. No, you have a lot of better normal type Pokemons. You have... Um, what is that? Let's say Amber Palm, right? Shinshino? What's the other normal type? Zangoose? Yeah, the three of those. Easily better than this Kangaskhan. Uh, so... Boosh. I, yeah, I can line them up right here, like, 
I think the MP form is C, I think. Yeah, MP form C. Zan Goose, we're gonna see later. And there's also Shinshino. So, uh, I don't think it's better than any of those. And uh, I, I put it in F's here. <laughs> if there's a PU tier, it's gonna be good. Nah, you know, good, good there. Good. Very good. But we are far from PU. There's no way they're gonna create like a new use here even. So, there's no PU. I feel like we don't need to talk about it anymore. Consider there's only one tier I put in F. I wouldn't use it ever. That's fake out, sucker punch. Scrappy. Uh Yeah. Fake out sucker punch earthquake double edge. <laughs> Very lackluster, I would say. Let's move on to Mr. Mime. I think Jinx Jinx is better than Mr. Mime. And Jinx was in D tier, right? Just because of Fume Sack, like pay respect to that guy. <laughs> so uh this Pokemon. Yeah, it has um, filter, nice ability, like prevent damage. It has nice special defense. Um, it might be able to tangle some uh, special defense. I mean, some special attack hit that you're not aware of. But what are you gonna do with this? Like, it doesn't have nasty plot in Gen Seven, right? Probably has calm mind. I don't know. It has light screen reflect. Yeah, <laughs> but of course you use superior. You use uh, Klefki. Those two are just better. You even use uh, Latias, like Latios a screen, like anything with screen. Grumpick, I even use Grumpick a screen. Subat can also use screen. And it's also a uh, skill swap your opponents for them to have simple. And then you go into Gardevoir, you trade the simple, you can't mind. Those are some very specific stuff, but I'm just saying this uh, this this mod is going nowhere. I'm just putting it it, It's going nowhere. F, F. Alright, Scyther, 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 <clears throat> Joker, oh yeah, it is a Joker, <laughs> uh, okay, Scyther, why is there a Scyther here, well, because I think it's like a totally different Pokemon than the Scizor, and it's, it's sad it's not too overwhelmed by the Scizor at all, like it has higher speed, right, very high speed actually, consider it's in Pro, so Pro is slow, so, 330 plus is kind of high. Um, well, is it like usable in any way? It's hard to tell. So, I'll leave you like two choices. One, you put this in your team and you try to keep the rocks off your field, and then you come in with this, you try to get a kill, or you can grab a Charizard, and every time he comes in to get a kill, this mon, you need a lot for it to work. And it also needs like Sword Sense, U turn out, coming back in and out. Uh, the only advantage it has was that it's, it's, it can, it can hold uh, Eviolite. But no, it's not good enough. Uh, you need a high maintenance cost as usual because it's 4 time Wish to Rock. And then uh, if you come in with this and you don't get any kill, your effort of removing the hazard will be, yeah, you know, it's it's not gonna be rewarding, especially when you have the the four time weakness, for example, Charizard or like Volcarona. If they come in, they probably win the game. So they, they, this one is, uh, I don't think it's a bad Pokemon, but uh, of course you don't use it. Uh, think about it, it, might be better than Charizard. <laughs> Why do you have Charizard in these here, by the way? Man, I'm just gonna put Charizard in F, man. I mean, there's no reason to use these two. They're not bad Pokemon, but you don't use it. No, don't. Don't use it. At all. Don't use it. Just saying. Just don't use it. Okay. So we have Pinsir, regular Pinsir. Um, you could probably argue the same because you don't use it. Right? Why are we using Pinsir? I mean, it does have Sword Sense. And if it has like Z move, it could be pretty funny. So it has Moxie, right? Hyper Cutter. Those two are very good ability for uh, for its design because it's designed to like sweep, right? Moxie uh, and Hyper Cutter is nice for Intimidate if you run the Source and Set. Uh, if you compare this to Heracross, which we're gonna see later, this one is not as good. <laughs> what is that? Like X Scissor as its best uh, best buck move? Uh, yeah, Exiler. It's just pure buck type, right? Has Earthquake, which Heracross also has. No, doesn't have Guts. Guts is actually a fantastic ability. 
um, has Stone Ash, you know, Stone Ash, nice, right? No, not really. You don't want to click that, but you, you have to run it because there's a, the, the Zapdos. This one's pretty funny. I feel like it should be stronger, but uh, because you have the hair cross, yes, there's no, no reason to use this mod. Uh, if it's a mega form, though, it's, oof, that mod is just crazy. But it's a regular form, so... Um, no. 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 Is it D or F? Mo Breaker Earthquake. Yeah, you might be able to catch some Rotom, but unfortunately, the Mo Breaker ability reveals itself. So when you come in, they know you have Mo Breaker. <laughs> kind of suck, I guess. Um, yeah, it's better hit Molly. No, uh, put in F. So you know what? These rare Pokemon's, even though they're in F, they are pretty nice. You know, these F Pokemon's. They are not really F, but if there's a sub tier like D minus, I would put them there. Uh, but uh, okay, I put in D then. I, I think I like this more than ah oh, no. Scyther should be better than Pinsir always, so this doesn't make any sense. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if you compare it to got uncommon in the common list, it might be a little bit contradicts uh, contradicting, but uh, no, it should be fine. I think it should be fine. Uh, because uh, we don't look at the other lists while doing this anyway. Just keep playing, please. And, uh, yeah, no. If you kill their counters, can I run over teams? Yeah. Well, not Kangaskhan, Hitmon, Chan, and also, uh, Mr. Mime, yeah? Charizard, Pinsir, and, uh, Scyther. I mean, these six are actually very, really good Pokemon if you have, like, a lower tier on them. But we don't, so... Yeah, I have to put them at. They don't do nearly as well as uh, other Pokemon's in like just one tier. Uh, yeah, we have some really good app Pokemon here that you would use otherwise. Yeah, you don't really mind using any of these six to be honest, except for the mime. Actually, the mime is kind of questionable, but uh, they actually usable. So just saying, just saying. Maybe the rarity makes sense. You know, these are rare Pokemon's, but. The F tier rare Pokemon does look kind of nice in a sense, you know. Kind of nice. <clears throat> Incoming Scyther. I already made a Scyther video, by the way. <laughs> okay, so Pinsir, Mega Pinsir. Wow, this mon is kind of scary. It's very scary. Is this like Charizard X, where you don't you don't see it a lot, but when you see one, you, they're gonna sweep you, right? Something like that. I think it's. Uh, what to say about it? It's kind of weird because we have been experimenting Charizard X in balance team and it works. Pinsir, I don't think it works in balance. It gotta work in like bulky offense, hyper offense, and screen offense. But they are offense. You don't run in balance or like star, of course. You don't run in star. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This one's weird. Um, it's kind of the opposite. It's strong. It is very strong. It's like Charizard X because you, you let them lose, they're gonna want to be 6 you. Uh, but it's weird because you don't use it in every team, you know? Um, for that reason, there's also a lot of Zapdos. I don't think Rotom is a, is, is a concern, but mainly just Zapdos. You're gonna start with Sonash, but running Sonash kind of sucks, as we have tried already. This mod's crazy too. Um, it should be like in the middle of A and B. But we don't have a sub tier like that, uh, so uh, I put it in A actually. I think it's much more dangerous than so it's like. Although I gotta say, I don't think about it a lot while building a team because if you see it, it's probably gonna be offense anyway, and you probably think of uh, the way to deal with offense on the way of building your team. So it kind of check that box like twice. Maybe so you don't often think of it. Charizard X is a different thing though because they run Charizard X in balance all the time. So yeah, and now we have Lapras. I'm gonna make this fat by putting it in F tier. I have no intention to give it a higher rank. Although we all love a Lapras just because of the uh, the Orange Island arc. <laughs> but does it do anything though? Mm, nah. There's no Dynamax, Gigantamax, no. There's, there's, there's none of those, so... How do you even make use of this Pokemon? Nah. 
Has water absorb. Hey, it's an ice type, ice and water. There are a lot of ice and water, by the way. Uh, this one is not the only one. And uh, I think we put them all in like F, like War Rain. <laughs> Yo, is that War Rain? Yes, War Rain. Dewgong. I don't know. Uh, Dewgong actually has uh, a niche, which is Warpool and Parasong. So I, I, I think it was D, <laughs> just because of that. This one also has Warpool and Parasong. Is this fair to put in F and the Dewgong in D? We might have to uh, rearrange that like way later. Yeah, because we have to look at the other tier list to decide whether it's, uh, you know, comparable. These are more like individually rare Pokemon compared to other rare Pokemons than to compare to uncommon and common Pokemon. But eventually we're going to put them in like one big, big, big tier list and uh, then it's going to change. But for now, compared to other po rare Pokemons right here, I'm putting an F. Uh, we might move it up or down later i don't know but uh, it has one niche and that's all how about vaporeon i think vaporeon is good <laughs> it's a wild type um has wish protect water absorb nice same thing uh it has very high hp stat so that your wish is going to heal your teammate a lot it's kind of like an ala momola but uh it's it, it's it's sad I, I think i like mola more but this mod is not as passive. It's not as passive because its special attack stat is actually pretty decent. Have you have you ever run like Specs Vaporeon? Yes, it's, it's, it's actually nice. It has it's nice special attack, you know. Specs Vaporeon, not bad. Um, uh, better than Blastoise. I think it's C. Uh, better than Blastoise. I would use a Vaporeon over Blastoise any day. Not Mega Blastoise, but it's the regular Blastoise, yes. Actually, we did use it, right? Yeah, we did use it. Alongside Charizard X. Man has Heal Bell. <laughs> nice. See? Yeah, we go with C. Go with C. How about Jolteon? Just used it, uh, used it yesterday. <laughs> Actually, it's, it was like three days ago for me. But for you guys, it was yesterday. Or like, uh, like some hours ago or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Joteon, yeah, as I explained, it's like a worse Mega Manectric. Uh, you could argue that it doesn't take up the, the Mega slot, but honestly, I would rather use Mega Manectric and use a regular Pokemon that can do better than this Joteon. Okay, so this Joteon, I don't think it's F. I don't think it's F. It has a very high speed here, but its moveset kind of suck you only have Volt switch thunderbolt and hidden power ice and you don't even necessarily get hidden power ice and since it's an eevee evolution you need to hunt eevee and eevee hunting eevee is like just pain and even like get hidden power ice it's better to run run uh to hunt electric yeah electric yeah it's better to hunt that she don't hunt eevee with hidden power ice just like crazy um it's not f it's not C. I don't think it's better than Vaporeon in terms of uh, viability. Put it in D. Kind of like a Hitmonlee, maybe. Yeah, kind of like that. It's not useless, by all means, but its moveset sucks. Its moveset sucks. Why do you have, like, Shadow Ball as your best, like, neutral coverage? You need better moves, man. Like, Aura Sphere or something. Yeah, it should have, like, Aura Sphere. You know? You know? Just me, right? It should have, like, Aura Sphere. Um, okay. It's like a Raikou. <laughs> Raikou! Let's move on to Lunatone, which is gonna be F tier. Where's your friend Soul Rock? Wait, why is Lunatone here? Where's your friend Soul Rock? I put it in F tier. Just because it, 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 it ran ahead and blocked the Flareon right after it. Why is there a Lunatone here? Seriously. It's Gen 3. Where are you going? Put it in F tier. Nothing to say. Horrible typing. Psychic Rock is just a horrible typing. Uh, Psychic Rock. Yes, it, it's very horrible. It's just terrible. Terrific. It has Cosmic Power. Calm Mind. <laughs> Self Rock. Nice, you know. All the nice stuff. Flareon. 
I think Koiso is uncommon. Probably. Yeah, so it should be in the last tier list. I think I put it in uh, like B or A or something like that. Koiso. Solid. B is like solid. A is like very good. S like got tier. C is okay. D is usable. Right? You look at this. S got tier. Very good. Solid. Okay. Usable. And this one is either useless or you got outclassed severely. Uh, Flareon is uh, kind of sad. I think I have no regret putting it in F tier. What does it have? It has like a decent attack stat, but it's typing pure fire. I mean, look at Arcanine. Arcanine is better, both defensively and offensively. So Arcanine is just like a better Pokemon than this Pokemon. And you have to hunt an Eevee as well. I mean, come on, man. Why would you hunt an Eevee to evolve into Flareon? Who does that? Although I would love for someone to do that and give me a Flareon, please. <laughs> it's a very funny set. Is that a very funny set? Like Rest, Sleep, Talk, Facade, Flare Blitz. Flame Charge is like the random battle set with Facade. You know. Flare Blitz, Facade. Protect. Do you want Protect on this guy? Not really. Well, you might to activate the orb, but uh, that's all about it. It has Guts. But it forces you to use Toxic Orb. Because it's a Fire type, it kind of like get burned. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that way. I'll put an F here. Uh, not much, not much explanation needed, I don't think. Uh, so yeah. F, Amasar. I actually think Amasar is very scary in rain. You don't see it a lot because of reason, right? You have Swampert, you have Kingdra, you have Manaphy. All three of those are better Pokemon than Amasar. But if you see an Amasar alongside all those three, it's gonna be very scary because you spend all your resources to deal with. The other three, and then you, you lose to the Amasa. This mod is kind of crazy. Um, although, uh, yeah, I don't. Hmm. I think it's probably like a Lodicolo actually, because you spend other stuff to check uh, the Kingdra, the Manaphy, and the Swampert, and you might be weakened, so you can't deal with this anymore. It's kind of like a stacked thing. It's very double-edged. If you use it, and you play aggressively, you might be able to overwhelm your opponent. But your opponent, if your opponent knows how to react accordingly, then this one is a detriment. You add more weakness to your team, right? It's like a do-or-die type of stuff. It's kind of all-out. Uh, I think it's... C. Yeah, because of Ludicolo was C, right? I give Ludicolo a C to it. Kind of... Kind of like Southland, but I I like Southland and Sand more than the Ludico. It's crazy. Uh, Kabutop is kind of the same. Uh, when we didn't have Mega Swampert, like Kabutop is like the go-to Swift Simmer physically. Uh, no, not physically. Uh, you can't say physically aggressive. I guess you can, but it doesn't make any sense. Uh, the physical attacker. Yeah, you don't have Swampert. You use Kabutops, and actually, it it does pretty pretty nice. You know. It's okay, it does okay, and you can also rely on it. If we have Z-Move, it might be better. Uh, but I think Amazon and Kabutop is just like C tier now. And the only team you use it in is definitely Rain Team. Unless you wanna you wanna use like the weird uh, Spikes and Stealth Rock Amazar with like, uh, yeah, the Hazard, the Hazard Setter. Then uh, it might be funny, but I don't think it's as effective. So for now, C tier. Let's go into the Aerodactyl so we have the regular Aerodactyl you see this guy in one team in one team only hyper offense lead always a mega arrow I mean always a regular Aerodactyl although gotta say as time went by people start to realize that it's not that good <laughs> Excadrill arguably like the best offense lead but Aerodactyl actually uh, is the fastest of them all, so it has an edge. But you still need to predict to have an edge against an Excadrill because think about this: if you run, if you go for Rock Tomb in the first turn, and the Excadrill actually went for the Rock Tomb as well, then the next turn you might have to click Earthquake to kill them. And if they switch into something that resists Earthquake, and you your speed already lowered by Rock Tomb, you're gonna get out there and. Get like get no rock or get no get nothing. You get nothing, and if you 
probably rock tomb first and then soft rock. What if the ice cream just rapid spin? You know, this is very complicated. I th I think Aerodactyl is very very mid. It's not the worst Pokemon in the world. It's not the best rock setter in like a hyper offense team. It is okay. It's just okay, but it has one role like that. This is very limited. You don't see it anywhere else. Do you run it in like regular team with like choice band? No. That's like Archeops. I would rather run Archeops, man. Um, Aerodactyl. Uh, it does have a niche. Maybe we put it in D. I don't know. I see no reason to use it outside of uh, offense. Oh, sorry, yeah. But I, I, don't, uh, I don't buy it because it has a niche, but a lot of other Pokemons that does it better and even one of them is the Excadrill which is gonna be a Pokemon we are gonna talk about later and we all know Excadrill is like a very good Pokemon so uh, it's hard it's hard to surpass an Excadrill how about Mega Arrow bro bro Mega Arrow I used to think that it, it's okay but after playing with it for a while I hate this mega. <laughs> like what? Have you? Do you know how many like UU tier megas I have used? Like the king of UU. The king of UU tier, like the megas. You have Manectric, You have um, Aerodactyl. You have sometimes the. What is that? What's that mega up that way? The Akron. Yeah. I have. I never use Akron because I can't get the mega stone. Uh, and there's also Altaria, wait, Altaria, Aerodactyl, Manectric, yes, and Akron. So, out all four of those, I expect Aerodactyl to do better than OU. But, the one that does the best in the OU is actually, I think Altaria even does better than Manectric in OU. Um, Altaria and Manectric, they're kind of the same. Uh, but, Aerodactyl is just so bad. If you had an UU tier, it's gonna be okay there. It might be the top mega, but there's there there is no tier. It's OU, so it does worse than you know you because the, the environment is different. You know, its move set is nice, but you ha gotta hit Stone Ash, and I blame on all the missed Stone Ash stuff too. And you need to touch them even with the best move like Ice Fang, Fire Fang, and you take Rocky Helmet, you take Rough Skin, and you don't even kill by the way because your attack is just so low. Uh, you don't regen. Uh, you don't generate any momentum. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, very heartbreaking. Very heartbreaking. Uh, I don't think it's D. I think it's C, but I don't. I won't even use it over Blastoise, you know. But uh, okay, I'll put. I'll put it in C. I'll put it in C. Fine. Just just sit there. Enjoy your vacation in C or whatever it is. And uh, we move on to small axe. Uh, okay, small axe. Small axe has been disappearing lately. If it's like four or five years ago, you see small axe everywhere. They all run like curse, curse rest with like fire punch, body slam, earthquake, rock slide, anything you want on a small axe. You run rock slide, you check Boca Corona, by the way. And try that why? Because you have thick fat. Um, it fell down though, it fell down. For good reason. If you think of the Chansey is very passive, this mon, this mon, <laughs> this mon right here, it won't be doing as good of a job as Chansey as a special wall. Right? It's also a special wall. It can sweep occasionally, but with the environment we're having right now, like a lot of uh, Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, you also have Leech from Feral Thorn, you also have like a Scizor, even your Fire Punch like deals no damage, you got a Curse first, maybe you Curse first, then it might go into Garchomp, Dragon Tail, you have to work a lot for this to sweep, so that aspect of this Snorlax is, is just thrown around the window. If you want it to tank, just use Chansey. It does have a niche set with like a Soul Fest or a Choice Band, it does have Pursuit, so it might be able to check Gladios, better than the Chansey uh, or like a Zam I guess but yeah no no I don't think it's as good anymore we did run like Aya Papa Berry but it's kind of sit there uh, yeah it's just kind of sits there even the, the, the Alolan Muck 
it, it does better than this mod if you run like a power berry with the curse set uh, because muck cannot get poison and if you you run the uh the curse set on the thick fat mod it's gonna get poisoned although you do have rest but that's passivity right you don't want to rest after they have like three two free turns um you could run sleep talk but then you lose one coverage you're gonna have problem against scissor and also feral thorn it's not worth it uh, uh the, this, it's not f tier it's it's still pretty good but yeah i i don't see any reason to use it though snorlax c d should be in between i put in d yeah i put in d why not um yeah, how about Dragonite? Dragonite is very hard to tell. Uh, so I gotta put respect on this Dragonite name, right? This 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 Dragonite. If you took an eye off it, it's probably gonna sweep you. But sometimes it's kind of kind of like depends on luck. They run leftovers, and they pray that every time they outrage, they don't hit themselves. I feel like it's like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Always gonna be like that with the confused stuff. Uh, it's kind of crazy though. That's because they run uh, the the leftovers, but they run it in balance team, so leftovers might make sense just a little bit. Uh, if you run Lumberry, yeah, it, it makes more sense. But Lumberry is usually for the offense, the offense team with uh, a lot of other offense Pokemon. I like Dragonite a lot. Like keyword, it wasn't in, in the past, not now. Uh, was using like choice band Dragonite because back in the day I used a lot of offense and you know just quick moves, just quick moves. Dragonite, Outrage, OP, Earthquake, Extreme Speed, you know, Iron Hat, uh, Fire Punch. Deals a lot of damage. Hmm. I think it's easier to use than Charizard X. Probably. Probably. Heal Bell Dragonite, that's like Gen 8, man. <laughs> it's a heavy duty boot. It's more reliable in Gen 8. You can run in balance team or pretty much any team. So Dragonite in Gen 8 is definitely a uh, a beautiful sight to see. Uh, in Pro though... Hmm... You know what? It's actually easier to use in Pinsir as well because you can run in balance. You don't need to run Dragonite, Dragonite in just offense alone. Uh, it's very interesting. So probably gonna put an ace here. I'm not talking about his special attack set though. It's kind of the one is kind of weird because if you see one, it's probably in rain, and you might have guessed it already. Unless they run Dragon Dance in rain, which you know, which is a thing. It's a thing. They can catch you off guard, but next time you see them, it's pro, so you know their team. It's not gonna be like that anymore. Doesn't get to make a slot like Charizard X, yeah. And it's actually a good Pokemon. It's not like Joseon doesn't consume, but it's not good enough to justify using it. But Dragonite is actually a good Pokemon, so... I mean, why not? Why, why not? <laughs> Let's put it there. Meganium, let's go! My favorite starter of Gen 2. Sorry, F's here. Do you want to talk about Meganium? No, right? No, right? No, no one, no one wants to talk about Meganium? No? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it very fast. His move pool sucks. Yes, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> Imagine talking about Meganium, man. Ah, How is it my favorite uh, Gen Gen 2 starter? Because I, I, I like it. I just like it, you know? I just like it. No reason, no specific reason. I like it. Um... Let's go with Typhlosion. Um, again, this is like a Flareon, but its counterpart is probably like Magmortar, and then Heatran, and then there's Volcarona. Like what? What? What, what are you doing here? You're also in F. Thank you. It's very hard to pull off a Typhlosion sweep because you have basically the same set as Charizard. Basically the same side as Charizard. Um, you have Eruption as your only uh, thing that separates you from being called a Charizard, right? Only Eruption. And then, it's very hard to sweep with you. Because if you click Eruption, 
and your choice specs. There's a Heatran, and there's Tyranitar. Both of those are very common Pokemon. If you have Focus Blast, you have to predict that. And then if they got it right, you know, if you got it right, you're gonna deal like only half HP to them, unfortunately. And then they know, right? If you click Eruption, unfortunately, into a Tyranitar, they might pursue you and you dead. It's not like Heatran. Uh, Heatran can actually have Earth Power and uh, threaten the Tyranitar if they stay in. Click Toxic, you know, Earth Power, all that stuff. And uh, even if Heatran switch out, it's not gonna die. With Typhlosion, it's probably gonna be nearly dead. It's not dying yet, but it's nearly dead. And you also have four times, no, not, not four times, just two times wicks to rock. For that reason, why am I talking about Typhlosion a lot? It should be like Meganium. Should be the same thing. Uh, how about Fairy Gator? Fairy Gator. Probably uh, the best starter in Gen 2 in terms of competitively. Competitively speaking, it should be like best starter among these. But being better than Typhlosion and Meganium is not. <laughs> it's it's not as impressive of an achievement, isn't it? Yeah, it's not. But it's actually uh, it, it's nice. It has Source Dance. You can also run Dragon Dance. You have Shield Force, which is a very strong ability. Uh, Move Set contains Crunch, Liquidation, Ice Punch, Super Power, all those stuff. I think this mod is fine. Uh, it's UU. I, I, I don't even think it's UU. I don't even think it's UU. It should be like uh, RU or something. I feel like the Shield Force one because. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's UU. If you check on the Gen 7, I could check right now, but I don't want to be influenced by uh, by the way they put them there because technically speaking, we only have one tier. So we judge this Pokemon based on how well they do against the tier as a whole. Uh, not by like. Not by their base base power or something like that, because a mon could be as useless as Ditto, Ditto like PU or something even lower than PU doesn't have a tier, but it's better than all these F tier Pokemon, so we gotta put it in D. For example, just like that. Uh, Fairly Gator is strong. I think it's strong. It's not as impressive. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I I even put Kingler in B. So this Pokemon should be at least B, right? <laughs> ah, it also has Shield Force. Both of those have Shield Force, right? That's very interesting. Um, yeah, it should be like a Kingler, perhaps. I'll put it in B. I mean, <laughs> basically your your ability carries you through. Um, it's like in the middle of B and C. I don't feel like putting it in D. So it's either B or C. Yeah, let's it uh, let it uh, let let its ability carry it through. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna end at uh, what's that? Shuckle? Yes, it's Shuckle. Pseudo Wudo F tier. No need to talk about it. It has Head Smash Rocket. You know who else have Head Smash Rocket? Tyrantrum. Right, Tyrantrum, and also uh, Relicant. <laughs> Compared to Relicant. That's just crazy. But Tyrantrum is just better. Um, F tier. Mono Rock too. Mono Rock is kind of sucks. Who even who even uses Mono Rock? And it's very slow as well. And its base power, I mean, it's uh, it's attack stat. It's not like over the top. So yeah, I don't know. Very slow. Not the best attack. Not worth it. Mono Rock. How about an Espeon? I feel like Espeon is... Uh... I don't know. It has Magic Bounce. So you can uh, compare it to something like... Azatu perhaps? Yeah, Azatu? Uh, not a Flying type though. I even think if Azatu is like Mono Flying, it might be better than carrying the Psychic. Because... Uh, yeah. It's just weird. Espeon... Hmm, Espeon is very hard to rank because I think it's probably better than Jolteon, right? It's probably better than Jolteon. Uh, it's just that Jolteon is 
Yeah. I, I really don't like psychic type in this game, guys. Especially in Gen 7, they get pursued. I rarely use like a psychic. <laughs> Except when it was an Alakazam because it can deal with uh, the pursued user by clicking focus blast and miss and then die. But that's better than not having anything at all. Uh, that's why you I don't use Zatu either. But we did use Zatu a, a, a few times and it was okay. Um, I think it's better than uh, Jolteon probably on par with Zatu. I, I put it in C. Uh, it also has very nice special attacks that easy to combine than others. Uh, not really. It's not very easy to combine. You know? they, just, they just throw in a dark type because the best move you have to hit them is Dazzling Gleam and that doesn't even kill. Weavile can tank a Moonblast from Cofebo, so I think the <laughs> the Dazzling Gleam is not killing anything. And they can also go into Tarantar, which is gonna conjure the Sandstorm, which is gonna boot his special defense, and Dazzling Gleam is gonna deal like 30%, and then you die, you basically die. <laughs> it's mostly like Zatu, you know? Kinda similar. But Zatu is actually a flying type, so it has ground immunity, so sometimes it's better. Uh, but if, if you run uh, something offensively, like an Espeon, we did use it in screen, although it's not as good right now anymore. Uh, so yeah, it's it's like that. It's really easy here. I think it's fair. And now Umbreon is very interesting. Umbreon is, I, I think it's kind of underused a little bit. It's very passive though. It's very passive. It's like, uh, yeah, you can take advantage of an, uh, an Umbreon, but it is not as easy as a Chansey because it does have foul play, so you gotta be careful setting up on that. Or like went into a physical mon and attack over it, it might click foul play. Um, Umbreon, yeah, I think it's decent. I even think it should be better than Espeon. Uh, out till it looks kind of weird in itself. Uh, but I, I do think Espeon deserved the, uh, the highest here than Espeon. Just saying. It's a defensive Pokemon. They do different role. Cool looking. Yes. Style point. <laughs> uh, they do different role. But yeah, Umbreon is just easier to slap on teams. And every time we use an Umbreon, it does work. It worked. Every time it works. It never disappoints, you know? Uh, it's not a SAR. Ever. But yeah, it, it worked. It all worked. Um, it's not like Espeon where you you have the games that it worked, the game it doesn't. Most likely it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so we have the, the Umbreon in B tier. I'm, I'm pretty happy about Umbreon B tier. I'm not sure about you guys, but uh, yeah, I, I don't mind that. Uh, how about Porygon Z? <laughs> bro, bro Por Porygon Z, if you don't have Z move, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Would you randomly use a Polygon Z? No. No, I don't even see any. If I see any, it probably kills me. But that's because you don't think of it. You don't prepare for it. And it's not even dangerous. Uh, Does it have Focus Blast? I forgot. It probably has Focus Blast, right? No? This Gen 8? It is Gen 8, right? Gen 8. Focus Blast. Doesn't have it in Gen 7. I don't think. Uh, okay, so Porygon Z is like slugging. Uh, not quite. It's different. It's different. But it hits hard on the special attack side. Uh, it does have a nasty plot, you know, without Z move. Let's just talk about nasty plot, choice specs, adaptability, download, all these nice abilities. Where's the Porygon 2, by the way? It should be somewhere down there. But let's talk about Z first, uh, because it's here already. Um, high beam, Thunderbolt, like great coverage, try attack. Uh, it's like a Rampardos, but it is a little bit better. <laughs> it's like a, a special Rampardos or something like that. I don't know. And it's still very easy to get wall too, because your coverage, although it's good, you have to deal with like Heatran, Tyranitar, not Chansey though. Chansey is like nothing. I don't care about Chansey. Like uh, Feral Thorn, I don't know. You have a lot of obstacles ahead of you. And it's very hard to bring in even with the U turn wall switch because, you know, U turn wall switch, the target are usually like uh, the special wall. So you don't you don't normally go into the Polygon on special. 
Uh, although sometimes you do U-turn on a Rotom and then you come in with this, you get a kill or try attack. But then you have to anticipate what they are bringing in in place of the Rotom. Like maybe a Tarantar, Heatran, Ferrothorn asset. Um, maybe you can get away with some hidden power stuff. Uh, I think this mon has... You know, it's that. It's no joke, right? It's that is no joke. It's a very high special attack. Speed is okay in pro. Uh, his book is not impressive, but it does tank some hits, just some of them. It's normal typing though. I don't know. Should we put it in B? Just because it's very hard to ignore though. It's very hard to ignore too. I mean, we have Feraly Gator in, uh, in B, but I just don't feel like it's even better than Blastoise, you know? Uh, yeah, I'll put it in C. I would use a Blastoise over a uh, Porygon Z, actually. I see, I mean. Uh, but then the fairly greater in B is kind of questionable, just because I put Kingler in B. You know what, let's put, move it to uh, C as well. Let's just uh, do it like this, you yeah? know? We're gonna fix the overall tier list after. This is just rare Pokemon. Uh, so their interaction between each other is kind of important. Uh, we're gonna talk about the overall tier list after. And now we move on to the next Pokemon, which is going to be Wobbuffet, which is totally useless. <laughs> this one is useless, you know? If you are wondering why, it's definitely because Shadow Attack is banned. So if you only have Counter, Encore, Safeguard, and what, Mirror Code, and they can switch out. Then what is the point of view? This is absolutely like like the the bottom of the barrel. There's nothing that worse that's worse than this. There might be something that worse than this, but this one basically useless. Just useless. No redeeming uh, quality until Shadow Attack is unbanned, which is gonna be never because Shadow Attack is just a, a like a very dirty ability. So we're not letting that out. Used to be cool in boss team. But we're not ranking. Uh, for Basta though. <laughs> How about Fortress? What about Fortress, man? You can set up Hazard, right? Had Spike, Toxic Spike, Rapid Spin, Self Rock. But its typing is weird. You have Bug Seal? If it's only Steel, Steel, it would be pretty nice. But it's also a Bug. So it brought in uh, <laughs> some questionable things about it uh, very high defense special defense not that great um, it has wall switch as well which is kind of funny uh, it does have per its purpose uh, it should be better than this F tier Pokemon because you, you get a lot of hazard with this Pokemon it also has rabbit spin uh, it's then put in D why not put in D uh, okay it's, it might be better than regular Aerodactyl too it's easier to slap on teams. It's just that you don't use it because you have a Ferrothorn. Like what? Why would you use Fer Fortress instead of Ferrothorn, right? Ferrothorn is just better. Like what? Why? Basically, just, 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 just fact. You even use like Ferro Seed. If Ferrothorn doesn't exist, then Ferro Seed is going to be a better choice than Fortress. But it does have some uses, and I do think that it's better than some of these apps here Pokemon. So I put it in D. Uh, Silix. This is kind of the same actually. Yes, Stealth Rock is a ground type. Uh, it has high defense, might be useful in some cases. But our physical attacker are kind of like, like they're all fighting or some stuff. Uh, it does tank Metacross though, right? It was Metacross. <laughs> Even if you hammer on, you're not going to take a lot, right? It's kind of nice. <laughs> Don't even talk about like Earthquake. Earthquake is dealing no damage, man. Uh, so it's funny that way. It's kind of funny. Although Fortress Zones can also wall Metacross, but they usually pair Metacross with Magnezone. So you kind of do. But hey, still look, it's a ground type. It's not... It's not going to be uh, as useless against the Magnezone. Eh, I think to put in D is fine. I think it's on par with like Fortress. Uh... Sheer Force, Ptolemy's Lilic is a thing. Uh, maybe. But, I mean, 
why would you use it, you know? You have uh, Akron, we have uh, Head Smash, also Autonomize, Rock Polish, also Rhyperior, right? Weakness Policy, uh, and Silic is just... <laughs> no, 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 you could say that it's a thing, but it's not a good thing. Uh, in Gen 8, you have Dragon Dance Silic, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Dragon Dance Silic, yes, pretty funny. How about Mega Silix? How about Mega Silix? I never use it because I don't have Mega Stone. Freaking locked behind Excavation, which I can't just do constantly because it's very tiresome. I don't want to run around like every day and then waste like maybe 30 minutes something like that uh silix is okay and mega silix should be better than silic right 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 am i right not really it does consume a mega stone but compared to its regular form mega silic is better i would say it's not like garchomp you know garchomp with an item or like tyranitar with an item is much better than its uh, mega counterpart but this one is not necessary like that you know, Mega Silix. I never use it, so I can't tell. I got a feeling it might be better than some of this C tier Pokemon, though. Uh, I'll put it in C for now. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get the Mega Stone for it, but I'll put it in C for now. Can't speak from experience, but I can tell that this one has like a similar structure to a, an, an Akron and it's a ground type. So if spoiler right now if i had put mega akron in a higher tier then it still looks gotta be like somewhere close to that it's not as good as the akron but it's not as far away from it either so i'm putting in c tier mega silic ability is sand force sand force uh not very useful i would say because it tends to uh it tends to run defensively than uh offensively but if you could run Rape Nature with like Curse, Gyro Ball, Stone Ash, Earthquake, Sand Force is okay, but the thing is you have a you gotta run like a Sand Setter, like a Tyranitar or Hippowdon to enable that and sometimes it's not worth it uh, because you just run it alone and it's gonna be good already so you don't even need to run Sandstorm but uh, you know better than nothing yeah better than nothing Sand Force basically Mega Garchomp but uh, bulky <laughs> Um, Scizor and Mega Scizor. Okay, we got the good stuff. <laughs> Wait, let, let's just finish with Shuckle first. So we're gonna do Shuckle, Scizor, and Mega Scizor. The three last Pokemon we're gonna do today on stream. Uh, Shuckle... <laughs> <laughs> it has it hasn't used, yeah? I better put it in D, actually. Because it's just like a fortress, but... Probably better, actually. Yeah, I like a Shuckle more. Shuckle lead in, like, web. If you run Shuckle, you better run web, right? There's no reason not to run web on Shuckle because you know you're gonna run red, uh, run uh, web if you use a Shuckle already. So, oh yeah, I put it in D. Uh, Shock Rock, Sticky Web, Encore, Final Gambit, Toxic, Never Gone Wrong, and uh, I put it in D. So, wait, okay, so now we uh, Shuckle and Sweep Team with Contra Shell Smash. Bro, if you sweep a, a team with that, your opponent team is just very bad <laughs> if you can sweep a team with shuckle like that you can probably sweep them with a chancy basically the same thing you know you ever use shell smash yeah right <laughs> shell smash infestation right uh rest and toxic yes and then they just go feral thorn they leech seed and you never win <laughs> <laughs> just go freaking feral or leech and then you never kill any pokemon ever again no no shot no shot and even infestation you can't trap them they're just gonna u-turn and both switch out such a bad set i don't know why people just keep asking me to use that set it's just so bad <laughs> i guess it's a meme people love memeing not me though I I I I want a good meme. I run bad memes. Shell smash shuckle is uh, is a bad meme. Better get rid of it, please. Uh, makes for some like nice clickbait on the internet too. Gosh, I don't like that. 
like clickbait YouTube, just shuckle sweeping teams with power swap and stuff. Yeah, I, th I think that stuff is fine. It's just like in, yeah, no, it's just like in one million games, you might win one, probably. Yeah. So let's go for uh, Scizor. Yeah. Regular Scizor first. Uh, regular Scizor is, is still a very good Pokemon in zone. Although, I would say that if you run Scizor regularly these days, it it's only choice ban. It's only choice ban. There's no reason to run other set because you have a Mega Scizor. So it's only choice ban. And with that choice ban set alone, it's enough to make it work very solidly and very... It put out consistent result throughout games with just a single set, which is choice ban. You run Pursuit or Knockoff, you run U-Turn, you run Superpower, Bullet Punch. Like the same four moves set too, and it still works. You know, you know what it is. It still works. Uh, for that reason, I'm putting A tier. It's not S tier because it doesn't like decide the games like some others do. Some others do, but uh, yeah, it's very solid. If you can run one set and still putting it work like a Capable, you know you're a good Pokemon. You know? Just, just know that. Just know that. Uh, how about Mega Scizor? Bro, if you see the regular Scizor in A, you know that this mod is going to be an S, right? Right? It makes sense. Mega Scizor, it's not a lot of checks. You can name a few, like Zapdos, Heatran, right? Zapdos, Heatran. You can even check it with uh, will o -Wisp Rotom. Like, it has a lot of checks. Skarmory, right? A lot of checks. But, even with those checks running around, it can still generate momentum with U-turn. It can get, it can still sweep anytime with Source Ends. It has Bullet Punch. Very nice. It has great bulks, both on defense and special defense. It can also check a lot of things on its own. So in the occasions that your Mega Scizor got checked, you can also check other Pokemons with your own Mega Scizor. So it's never, never a uh, useless Pokemon like ever it's always good has a lot of checks for it but it also checks a lot of Pokemon it's gonna also sweep yes I'm just repeating what I just said earlier about it but yeah I, I think you got the point Mega Scizor easy as here don't even wanna don't even have to talk about like how well it does in like offense team with like Source Land, Bug Bite, Bullet Punch and Super Power and so yeah it, it does well in balance, it does well in uh, offense. You can even use it in stall, by the way. You want Defox Scizor, be my guess. Uh, it's also the main reason why you see Magnezone, right? Skarmory is also one of the reasons, but mainly Scizor. So, yeah. Yeah, easy. Easy S tier. Don't have to talk about it too much. And that's gonna be our last Pokemon for this stream because we have. Oh my god, this is like 200 lap or something. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to think about it. But yeah, thank you for joining. We're gonna continue this uh, in another stream. And uh, I'll see you uh, in the next stream then. Bye.